What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another WWE 2K24 My Faction video. In today's My Faction video, we're taking on, for you guys as well that are new to the game, I'm going to actually explain here, The this is probably one of the easiest live events in terms of birthday bashes we've had in a, a very long time, because there's quite a cheesy way to do this. Now, as you see, I am going to be using here, the, the requirement basically is you need any Sapphire card. And you get three, four rewards if you complete the event. The tier three is a diamond cosmetics. Tier two is 1,000 uh, faction points, which is different to VC. Tier one is a beast basic pack, a beast two, sorry, a basic pack, and a mask mayhem pack. Now, this is quite an easy event. Now, I do need to go in here and explain a couple of things. You do need a sapphire, and your your current ways of getting a sapphire is in in the new in these packs here, all of these packs here, these uh, soul soul providers ones, they will have sapphire cards as well as I don't know if Singlet Supreme does. Yeah, they do, they don't. Singlet Supreme doesn't. Oh, they have two sapphires there in Singlet Supreme, and then Bash in Berlin is where the sapphires I believe are only Superstar Series two cards. Yeah, so you would need two sapphires now. How are you going to go right? And these new packs, so the beast beast two packs and the Mask Mayhem packs, your only chance is if you get a Superstar Series 2 Sapphire pack, so you don't want to be opening these packs, I would say. Now, yes, you could go to the card market to get yourself a Sapphire, but if we go up here to Sapphire, they are, as you see, the cheapest Sapphire, if you're not spending VC, is what looks to be about 50, 47,000 there. 47,000 credits for the JBL card there. But obviously you've just started. No, the cheapest Sapphire is this Booker T for 12. I forget this one. This one's like... Then you have Andre the Giant as well. But then you've got... Like they're all expensive. Like for some reason these, these two here the whole year have been like heavily, heavily discounted. It doesn't make sense. But you want to ignore the card market. So how are you going to go about getting a Sapphire card? I don't remember what you get from the... I'm up here in the collection. I'm probably going to start a brand new series on how to start my faction. Obviously, 150 cards would get you a Sapphire card. But how do you go about getting a Sapphire card if you can't? I don't know what you get from Weekly Tiles. I don't remember. Because I'm so caught up here. Um, if you do, is it the first one you get this uh, Dakota? But that would that's not good enough because you need a male. So you could do Week 5, but that's only 3 matches because it's a free agent card. So you lose it after 3 matches. And because you lose it after three matches, you won't be able to actually do it. Because you would need to do it four times to get all the cards, and I would recommend. Which means your your best hope at a Sapphire card would be week eight of the Weekly Towers for this Sami Zayn card. Now, he is a technician, so his uh, requirements are a little bit more annoying to get. If I can show this, I, had, I don't know if there's a way to show it. I think I might have to go in here. The, the way the requirements are is it's the exact same for per class, basically. You need taunts and finishers. But then if it's a powerhouse, it's... I don't know how to... I don't know, like, if there's a way to do this. There's a, there's a, there is a way to bring up a guide for MFP. But for technicians, you need arm damage, leg damage, and reversals. For uh, powerhouses, it's heavy attacks and grab attacks, which is circle and X. For high flyers, it's um, you'll see actually because we're going to use Ray Mysterio for this. Um, for strikers, strikers are the easiest class. Strikers are punches and head damage. It's like the easiest, but most annoying is technicians because of the reversals and stuff. But we're going to go right into this live event here. This live event is easier. You might be able to get one because you get that free pack. I can't show that, but we are. So we're doing Yoko's birthday bash. Now, this is an easy one. He does have resiliency, so you would normally need to pin him twice at least to win. But Yoko Zuna is a, a big boy, so you can skip the resiliency altogether, which is what we're going to do here now. I'm going to pause this immediately. I'm actually going to upload this. This will be a brand new live event that goes up right away. 
which unlike you, me usually, I don't usually upload. I've got like a stack of ones which I'll upload before this, but this is important because you new guys. For high flyers, it's dive attacks, running attacks, and springboards. Now for springboards, you just need to go to the ropes, press L1, and if you see you see your high flyer grab the ropes, then you just do a square once they grab the ropes. So as you see, we're a, we've already done two, two out of three here. If we do another one, the computer has a real problem reversing these as well, so unless they're on the floor. As you see now, he's stunned. We already have a signature because high flyers are broken when getting momentum. So we're going to go with Rey Mysterio. We're going to do a hold there because he would have reversed the normal signature. So for Rey there, we just did the the Bunny Destroyer because if we would have done the 619, it would have got reversed. It's like really easy. The computer for some reason reverses. Uh, thing out. You can skip in two ways of skipping out resilience there. As you see, I just did two taunts there as well. So now we've completed the signature, the opponent taunt, the crowd taunt, and the springboards, which is 60, which is what we need in order to get this match to count as a victory. As you see, I'm not going to do the finisher, the the dive, or the running. We're going to just win this match now. Now, there are two ways you can skip out on resiliency. If you get three finishers and you hit the... Super finisher, as you see there, it says super and it's the Dragon Rana. It takes all three of your finishers away to do it. But it blocks out Resilience there. But what we're going to do here, because Yoko, this only works because Yokozuna is, well, he's big, right? So we're going to put him in a corner. Okay, no, we're going to throw him out, apparently. Get back in, Yoko. This only works because Yoko is big. Um... We're going to put him on the top rope by pressing up on the right analog stick. And then we're just going to press circle. And it's going to, unless, the, if this doesn't get reversed, it's going to do a, a move to him. And because he's big, it's going to destroy the ring. And because we're the one that initiated it, that skips resiliency completely. Because we're the one that initiated that, once we get up, we will win the match. Because it counts as a knockout. So it skips out resiliency because it breaks the ring. And now we've got the two packs from the live event, which we'll go ahead and open right now. That's a bit, a bit of a talk. The Beast two pack as well. Now for me, you're going to see quite a lot of duplicates, right? Because I'm on my main account here and I have quite a lot of the cards already. The, I would genuinely not be surprised if this Diamond Cosmetics here is the one we get the most cards from. Because the Diamond Cosmetics are quite rare. You can't get them out of packs. You only can get them from packs that they give. And as you see, we get 200, 310 for duplicates here. Well, I actually have quite a few. I didn't expect that. We only got one card there. We're going to go with the basic pack first for Beast. Now, come on. Show me a PD, please. No. Okay, so this is this is good. If there's nothing here, there could be a Sapphire Superstar card here. We get a wallpaper. We get a duplicate, which will give us 4,500 MFP there, which is nice. And then we get the Mass Mayhem. Now, my look with these ones has been crazy. So, we don't get anything, unfortunately. But I, I like to do middle, right, and then left. So, we're going to get two cards in this pack because we just got that Seamus as a duplicate. Now, what's funner is I could get that Seamus again. You can get the same card twice in a pack. It doesn't happen often. Ooh, that's a nice nameplate. But we get another duplicate. So for me, I didn't get anything from the pack. But for you guys, if you would have opened these two packs after doing this event, you would have had the Seamus because you knew. You would have had the Zoe Stark because you knew. You would have got three cards from this pack. All five of your cosmetics would have been non-duplicates as well. I suppose you could go a bit again about getting a Sapphire from the Sapphire token market. But... I don't think it's possible for you to even get to the Sapphire Token Market right away. So, as you see, I've been playing the game since release, and I only have, yeah, I have 400 tokens up there, which means I could buy two more, three more of these, actually, but I'm waiting to see if they're needed this month, next month for a live event. But, as you see, I've been playing the game since the start, and I've done the bare minimum here for the Token Market. You need eight to unlock Sapphire, eight to unlock Ruby, and then you need all ten, as you see here. You need all 10 to unlock Amethyst. And then Amethyst, you need 10 to unlock Diamond. And it'll be 10 for these as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to start a brand new account. 
now with you guys and take you through the start basically maybe we do like a few episodes over the weekend with it being the weekend i feel like it's more of a more of a possibility that you guys can do quite a bit and catch up i've got to just plan out what i'm thinking is the best way to 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 start because what you would want is you would want to get the best lineup possible before you go into faction wars because you need the credits in order to get the bosses as you see i already i have twenty three thousand left because i'm waiting I have all of the bosses unlocked, I just need to grind to buy them all, but you could, I suppose, get a Sapphire from here as well. There are only 4,000, you might be able to do that. And the way this works is you see the permanent cards. These were all rotating throughout the game, but when they're, when they're up here in the rotating, they're actually discount price for the credits. As you see, the 4,000 credits, for uh, 6,400 credits here for the diamonds. But if we go here, Diamonds are 8,000. Amethyst is Stinger because it's discounted there. So, you know, but when you start the game, you will only have five tickets. So, I, I think I might go ahead and get this game downloaded on a new account today and start a brand new account today just so you guys can see first thing tomorrow morning what we get for with the new account or whatever and how we start it. I think that I think the start would be. For two live events here where you get two packs right like i don't have this one here on the channel because for me this one is a joke because i can just use to becky and i win in like 30 seconds so but this one is good because this will get you a bunch of tokens it won't get you enough to clear out the market but it's good and you need that is just any card you can use any card for this so you can do this immediately from starting the game which is probably the way to do it what might be the might be the strategy is is you can't do this one. You need that Sami Zayn from Bastion Berlin. You do need a Ruby card, so that is the, would be the target of getting a Ruby female for that. These two would be rare enough. This is DLC rewards. As you see, it doesn't. Have, it says I don't have the DLC, but it's redeemed. It's because my game glitched out and took all the DLC from it. Well, we've got to figure out what would be the best way to get a Ruby card, and then. I think the start is actually going to be we're going to do this event as soon as we start up the the series will immediately come in here with this because there is a way to get a ruby card and it is to do with the evolution cards i believe the card that you get from your starter pack can be evolved to sapphire and then to ruby so what you could do technically is evolve the 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 male to a sapphire to get a sapphire card for yokozuna and evolve the female all the way up to a ruby to get the ruby card to do the other event and that is probably the way to go but then what would you do after we'll decide that i will see you guys for a brand new account for for a new for a new account peace